Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Blackpool and behind me is the Boulevard Hotel. It's a four-star luxury hotel here on the seafront in Blackpool. It's had some really good reviews and I stayed in this hotel uh, a few years ago when it first opened. Is it starting to show its age or does it still look as good now as it did back then? Let's go and check it out. You might be able to see right at the top there, some of the suites actually have balconies. It's in the shadow of the big one and um, it's, it's such a really nice looking hotel on the seafront. It looks really good at night as well and it's just yards away from the big blue hotel. You might have seen the video that I did on there on the best rated hotel in Blackpool. Of course, you can check it out uh, in the description. It looks beautiful with the sun on it and the artificial grass outside. The grass is always cut with those lines. <laughs> Something very satisfying about that though. The actual hotel entrance is behind, which is unusual. You would think it would be at the front. But I think the design of the hotel is obviously to do with space. And when I say it's in the shadow of the big one, it really is. Look at that. Gets the sun in the morning, but obviously this time of day, it's uh, in shadow. They actually do have quite a lot of uh, parking. Just drive your car down there. The size of this coaster is crazy. If you've ever been on it, you'll know how big it is. Do love the water feature sets it up for a very grand looking hotel oh and because it's midweek this hotel is really quiet so i might have to whisper or voice over some bits it's like we've got the whole hotel to ourselves come on wow look at those funky pink chairs it's nice they've got the forecast on there i've got the best day mostly sunny looks like there's rain in the forecast. Wow, well, I tell you what, I've been in some lifts in my time, but this one is unique. I don't know whether it's alligator or snake skin. Wow, just check that out. Oh, real oranges. Never seen one of those before. So I need my room key to get in. Oh, it's very nice. Smells really nice. Love the mirror here at the end of the hallway. Shame there's no oranges in there. I like that. The snake skin continues. I have to say, I really like the lighting in this hallway. It, it feels luxury, even the walls. Is it wallpaper? Looks like it's wood. I love these lights. Look at that. So I'm in room number 320. The floor's quite creaky for a new hotel though. 322, here is my room. I love that key lock. Wow, I tell you what, straight away the smell is amazing there's a couple of smells in the room one of the smells is like chocolate and raspberry and that's why i can smell chocolate look at that welcome to the boulevard all in chocolate wow look at that very nice dear tim a very warm welcome to the boulevard hotel wishing you a great time in blackpool and I think that's his hotel. All the best, the general manager. Isn't that lovely? Well, it'd be wrong not to check this out. I feel bad ruining their art. Although it's interesting to see how long this would actually stay in the room. If I, because I checked in quite early. I checked in around about quarter to four. Imagine if I checked in like seven o'clock, would this still be there and what it would be like? Yeah, as I thought, a little bit stale. And by the way, this has got nothing to do with YouTube. I think this is just generally what they give you when you buy this kind of room. I've gone for an executive Dulux double. Now, I didn't pay for a sea view, but I think I have one. Yeah, I do. Look at that. The sun literally is going to set straight over there. So that's going to be amazing. Some of the rooms that you can get in this hotel are totally insane. They do show up on this uh, TV, like you can get suites that have balconies 
and uh, you'll see them from the front. So let's check out the room, see what we've got first of all. A lovely little dining area with a very funky couch. I know this hotel is a few years old now, but just looking around the room, it feels like it opened just yesterday. I mean, this is lovely. And I really like the colours they've gone for in this room. It's kind of like a green purple look with the cushions, the sofa, and indeed the bed. I've got a very nice workstation. Ooh. So there's details in here all about the pleasure beach, the shows, I can do some dry cleaning and stuff like that. And they've got my scent of choice from Next. <laughs> I buy this one quite often. I don't know if it's that particular fragrance, uh, but I love that smell. It's very nice. I've got a bottle. What's this? Hang on. What's inside? Chocolates. Wow, look at that. Never had that before in a hotel. Not even in the Burj Al Arab. Comes with a little card, menu, salted caramel, raspberry cup, soft caramel, and coffee cream. What a really nice touch, I like that. The thinnest phone I think I've ever seen. I've got room service I can call reception, a little notepad. I do love it when you go to a hotel and the theming is on point. Everything with the hotel name, the branding just like there, on the pen, even on the phone, and the chocolates. Yeah, I do like that. A couple of USB charging. Look at that mirror. So let's check out the bed. This bed is huge and I love the headboard. It's soft and hard with the wood. Really like that. Look at that, you can tell it's still new. I bet it still smells new as well. Love the bedside lamps. I never really use these. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you do. I guess if you're staying with somebody else and you wanna turn the lights off and you've got a reading light. These pillows are very high indeed. <laughs> It's like, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to put my head on there. No, that's just going to give me really bad neck aches. I think I'll probably only use one. Oh, they're not too bad, actually. They're nice and firm. So the bed is two beds pushed together. But notice what they've done. Rather than actually put that at the front, they've put them that way along. So you shouldn't really feel it if you've got a huge mattress, which is nice. OK, let's do the bed test. Very firm. That is very nice. Like the little bedside tables, kind of cute. Do you ever use these little drawers by the bedside table? Are you really in a hotel long enough? I guess if you're staying for two nights. And there's loads of little extra lights. There's, there's two lights there, that one's not working. And then there's a couple of extra lights there. So you can really set the mood of the room. Love this carpet and yes, it does look ultra clean. Very new carpet, obviously. But I like the fact that it goes from carpet into wood. The theming of the colouring, look, even on the curtains, the purple and the green. These are thick old curtains, obviously blackout curtains as well. I've got a huge TV, which uh, tells me all about the local area. Look at that, that's one of the suites. With a sea view, you get like a separate living room. What's on the TV? Pleasure Beach, shows and events, merchandise, movies, airtime, in-room entertainment. Never seen that before. Latest releases, subscription free. It's like having Netflix in your room for free. Before we head into the bathroom, the executive room comes with a little area to put your clothes and also, of course, the tea and the coffee facilities. Now, like the big blue next door, branding with the cups. I think that if you take these home, you will be charged, but you can buy them if you want to. You know you're in a nice hotel when even the teaspoons are ultra shiny. Glasses though. Oh no, they've been put that way down. Even got placemats. We've got shortbread, Yorkshire tea, their own hot chocolate. See, this must actually cost a fortune for the hotel, right? But these nice little branding touches, I actually really like. A very clean kettle. That looks good, I'm happy with that. I'm sure nobody's washed out their undies in it like you guys keep telling me. So some storage, and I believe, the mini bar. Oh, water. I've got two big, wow, it's the uh, artisan water from Norway. This is glass. No cheap plastic bottles in here. And a nice touch with the milk for your tea that it's in the fridge. I love it when you get these dressing gowns for once you've come out of the, 
the bath or the shower. Logos on it. Logo is even on the hangers as well. I even get some slippers. The mother-in-law will love these. I'm collecting these when I get these at hotels now. There's an iron behind there. Whoa, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. A safe in a drawer, never seen one of these before. Soft clothes, more storage there, and a, and a vanity mirror if you wanna do your hair. In fact, where is the uh, hair dryer? Oh, there it is. I was just wondering where that is. Nicely hidden. Kind of like the area, but is it really needed? It's a nice touch, but you could make the room even bigger, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, let's check out the bathroom. Wow. Walking into this bathroom, it smells clean, it feels clean. I know that sounds really stupid walking into a bathroom, but compared to some of the bathrooms I've been in hotels recently, even the, uh, the Hilton didn't smell this clean. Look at these shelves they've got underneath. Look, a nice way to put the bath mat, all folded up nicely. Folded toilet paper, extra if you need it. And I really love the way they've put the towels under here for you. This marble, two sinks, so you don't have to fight over the sink. Flannels and soap, there's another glass there. That has been well polished. Nice little mini heated towel rail up there. Bit of an odd place for it to be, but it's gotta go somewhere. The free stuff, shampoo, conditioner, vanity set. Shoe sponge. I don't think these will work on my sketches, will they? Shaving kit, shower cap as well, and some shampoo and conditioner. I'll be taking those home with me. Even where you flush the toilet, ultra sparkly. Just look at the floor. The marble continues. And something you don't see very often in a, in a bathroom. Look at that. Look at that mirror over the bath. And isn't it like a weird thing if you have a mirror facing a mirror? Isn't that like a portal <laughs> to another world? But I'm really liking that. It actually makes the bathroom feel huge. Quite surprised about the shower head, although it looks like it does some special stuff. You would have thought actually they would have had a rainfall shower in here. That would have been quite nice. So it's a bar stroke shower, ultra clean, literally. I mean, I, I can't, there's no dirt in here, no mold whatsoever. What's going on? I've set it on full. And you turn it like this. And you've got all these different settings. I have to say, that's not overly that powerful though. Ooh. What's going on there? Has that all come out of the shower? Okay, that's odd. I guess some of those settings haven't been used in a while. Not overly excited about the shower head, if I'm being honest. Yes, I like what it could do, but it doesn't seem to be doing, it doesn't seem that powerful. And uh, it doesn't overly fill me with much excitement seeing all these black bits that have come out of the shower. You could see they weren't in the bath before. Bit of a disappointment. All right, so we'll check out the rest of the hotel. I mean, there's not really too much to see other than the restaurant, which is a really lovely area, especially as the sun comes in for sunset. Oh, and of course, we'll check out breakfast in the morning. So you can get some roofs face out onto the pleasure beach. I do like the pleasure beach view. It is nice, but uh, it's nice to have a sea view for a change. I might, have come, I might have to come down here for a drink a little bit later on. Well, they do have a gym. This stuff looks like it's hardly been used. Like it's brand new. Some serious weights going on over here. I would not know what I'm doing with this. I do need to work out a little bit. I am breathing in for the camera, by the way. Morning, so a rather rude awakening this morning as the uh, the fire alarm went off. So I didn't pay for breakfast on the room rate, so I've got to go and pay for that downstairs. We'll go and check it out. It is £19.99, and I guess, is that the going rate for breakfast nowadays? 
Good morning. morning. This lift is different compared to the one I went in yesterday. It's like it's velvet. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's fine, yes. thank you. So breakfast is complete table service, no buffet. So you order what you want and you get it to the table. So breakfast was actually really nice. I could have the continental option, but I decided to go for the full Lancashire breakfast with hash browns, fried egg, beans, the works, and toast as well. And a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. If I'm staying at this hotel, I can actually get VIP entry into the Pleasure Beach. I get it as the same price as I would do online if I booked a few days in advance. I think it's like a 10% discount and I get to go through the VIP entry. The only problem is the VIP entry is only open for an hour. It's a shame it's not open all day because otherwise, once that shuts, you've got to go all the way around to come back to your hotel. So let's just quickly check out the VIP entry, come on. Yes, guys. Yes, VIP. Yeah, VIP, thank you. <laughs> Let's get the ticket there, please. Perfect day for fun at the Pleasure Beach. So you can see the hotel just over there. Okay, so let's talk about the Boulevard Hotel. It is one of my favorite hotels in Blackpool and the room was gorgeous. The bed was really comfortable. The only problem I had with the room was that I was a bit disappointed with the shower and those black bits that came out. I'm glad I wasn't actually having a shower at that point. I would have thought the shower head would be a little bit different in that hotel. I do feel sorry for the cleaners as well. It must be a pain to clean all that glass in the uh, bathroom, especially when someone's had a shower and soap scum and all that kind of stuff. So the price I paid for the room was 140 pounds. Obviously that's prepay, so you get it cheaper if you book in advance. The car park was £10 for your stay, and do you know what, that's one thing I really hate. Why do you have to pay for a car park when you're staying in a hotel? I would definitely stay in that hotel again. By the way, if you want to see the Big Blue, which is literally just next door, click the video here. Or if you want to see me walking around this theme park where no one else is around, make sure you click this video here. Do give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, I'll see you next time.